Today, I'm going to read Charlie the Ranch Dog. Where's the bacon? And it's based on the Charlie the Ranch Dog books by Reed Drummond, The Pioneer Woman, and Diane DeGrod. It's published by Harper Prince. So let's see what if Charlie finds the bacon. Oh, hello. I'm Charlie. This is my ranch. I'm the boss around here. See Charlie? He's the boss. Let's find out what he's going to do. This is Rowdy. He doesn't live here. He's just visiting while his family is away for a couple of days. I don't normally have time for visitors. After all, I have work to do. But I'll be a good boss man and show Rowdy around the branch. See Rowdy? Everything will be okay as long as Rowdy doesn't get too rowdy. <laughs> I run a tight ship around this place. I give a sniff sniff just to say hello. Hmm, that's funny. Rowdy smells like bacon. He must like bacon too. That reminds me, it's breakfast time. Breakfast is my life. I run into the kitchen. Huh? Excuse me? My bacon is gone. My water bowl's empty too. Who do you think took the bacon? Let's find out. Sniff, 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 sniff. I walk around and around. My nose follows the trail of bacon. I run right into Rowdy. He's standing in my personal space. I wonder if he's ever even heard of personal space. My belly rumbles. What a bad morning for a ranch dog. No bacon, no water. No personal space. Huh? Where did Rowdy go? I don't see him anywhere. I hope he's not being rowdy. I find Rowdy. He's playing in the garden. He lies down next to Ma. She rubs his belly. Mama? Okay, this is going too far. I give Rowdy the look. He runs a past me into the house. I sniff, sniff. Hey, you bacon eater, I shout. Get back here. Uh-oh. I think someone's jealous, don't you? Let's see what happens in the end here. Mama loves my short legs, but they are not the best for running fast. Soon, Rowdy is out of my sight again. Visitors are difficult. All this running around is tiring. After all this trouble... I think I'll just go inside, lie down, and take a little snooze. Who is that in my bed? Rowdy! That's it. A ranch dog can only take so much. Rah I think he's getting a little mad. Rowdy jumps off the bed. He runs out the door and skips down the steps. His tail is between his legs. He dives into the doghouse. Oh, Rowdy, now I feel bad. I didn't mean to scare the big guy. But goodness me, Rowdy is hard to manage. Eating my bacon, drinking my water, getting Bella rubs from my mama, and final straw, sleeping in my bed. Ah, nice and cozy. Finally, I can get a little rest. Hmm, that's funny. I don't feel very sleepy. I think about Rowdy. I wonder if he's lonely outside in the doghouse. Hey, sniff, sniff. Something smells good. What's for dinner? Mama gives me a soup bone, and I know just what to do with it. When I walk up to the doghouse, I hear Rowdy crying. Poor fella. He felt sorry for Rowdy, didn't he? I'm sorry, Rowdy, I said. You must miss your mama. Rowdy gives me a sniff sniff and a lick lick. 
Maybe there's room on this ranch for the both of us, I say. Then I share my dinner with my new friend. After dinner, I feel sleepy. Time for a nap, Rowdy, I ask. I even let him share my sofa. <sighs> Good night. The end. This book's here, and it's a pretty interesting book, and it's for the beginning re reading level, and if anybody would like to read it, it's here at the library. Um, we have several other books just like this, so if you want to come, come visit us and see about getting a book like this. Bye for now.